But one of my favorite wrestling movies was Grunt, the wrestling movie that a lot of fans may not have seen, but it has a cult following. You played Mad Dog, Joe DiCurso in that film, kind of the co-star with the mask who I think Steve Strong played. How did you get involved in that? And do you have any stories or memories of that film you could share with us? Well, there's a real famous garage in Los Angeles. It's called Gill's Garage. That's where all the Lucha Libre wrestlers from Mexico came and trained. Okay. Uh, one of the casting people that worked at Gold's Gym that got a lot of bodybuilders movies roles uh, hooked me up with the, the casting director from Grunt. And I had never had any wrestling experience. So they hired Mondo Guerrero as a coach. My coach was Mondo Guerrero. So he, I went to Gil's Garage and I learned to wrestle with Mexican wrestlers uh, strictly to get the lead role in this movie. And uh, Skull Crusher was a very famous Mexican wrestler. Uh, and there was a lot of Mexican wrestlers in there with me that are real famous. A lot of them, I can't recall their names, but uh, Victor Rivera was Skull Crusher, a very famous Cuban wrestler. But uh, after that movie, uh, Steve Strong and I actually wrestled at the end of that movie. And later on, we did a, a TV episode together called Tales from the Dark Sides. And I played a, a really weird, crazy character from hell that came out of a Coke machine that wrestled Steve. But back to Grunt, uh, Mondo taught me how to wrestle. I had to learn how to wrestle in two weeks. So after that movie was over, I made a career out of professional wrestling because of that movie. How was the pay for that movie? Would that have been one of your higher paying jobs? Cause it was, you were the star of it or over the top and some of these other big movies you were involved with still, still pay more. No, I didn't make a whole lot of money off grunt. I, I did pretty well, but uh, obviously I became a screen actors guild actor after over the top. So my pay scale increased like five or 10 fold. So I, I did make some money with Grunt. Uh, a lot of stunts that I did, I didn't get paid for because I didn't really know the ropes of the business. But I learned a lot. And because of that movie, I became a pretty good wrestler. How did you like working with uh, Steve Capella, who was Steve Strong? Steve is an incredible guy, uh, very friendly, and probably one of the most talented artists I think I've ever met. I don't know if people know that about him, but... Uh, Steve was a surfer in Venice and uh, trained at Gold's Gym a little bit, but mostly at World's Gym. We didn't run into each other a whole lot, except maybe down the beach or something. But Steve was a great wrestler, a real talented guy, big guy. And I always had great scenes with him every time I work with him. What did you think about the bad comedy they used in that movie? Because I think it could have had a little bit more potential if they didn't put so many cheesy jokes into Grunt? Well, that movie was basically a cult movie. And the director of the movie wanted it to be sort of a cultish type film that it wasn't a blockbuster, obviously, but it was, it was a lot of fun if you look at it. It had a lot of fine moments in it. But like you said, it was kind of corny. And the people who followed wrestling really didn't appreciate it for a wrestling movie. But as you saw, Sean Anna made a song, the theme song for Grunt. It actually had my, one of my scenes of wrestling in the video. But uh, like I said, it was a cult movie. It was made to be a cult movie, and that's probably all it'll ever be. But I think if it was released now, it'd probably be a lot more famous. Yes, and Adrian Street was also in that movie. Did you have much contact with him during the filming? Oh, yeah. We... Uh, we all hung out together, obviously, waiting our scenes to be filmed. But uh, we had a battle royale that we all got in there together. It was a lot of really famous guys. The Goliath, Mexican wrestler, uh, Jack Armstrong, one of my favorite friends. Uh, just, you know, on and on and on. There was a lot of famous. Jake, Jay the Alaskan was in it. He passed away. But uh, a lot of really famous guys, you know. Danny Spivey, too, was in it, actually. Yeah. Yes, yes, Danny Spivey. And I have seen some of Steve Strong's artwork because he's still close with uh, 
Billy Graham, who I'm friends with, and Billy Graham has a couple of his pieces, and you're you're correct. He does really fine art. Oh man, he does oceanic art. It's probably one of the best I've ever seen. I've got I've actually got one of Billy Graham's paintings up here on my wall that he signed for me in Vegas. There's a fan on here asking what the toughest movie you've ever done was. Uh, I'd say probably Grunt, because uh, I had to wrestle a lot of people and uh, not knowing, I wasn't a professional wrestler, so a lot of the bumps I was taking were pretty crucial. And the end of the movie, I don't know if you've watched it closely, when Steve and I had this shootout at the end of the movie, he hits me in the head with a chain and then the, all the scenes you see were me coming down in the ring on a motorcycle and diving off the bike and jumping in and saving uh, my tag team partner's life by intercepting a drop kick. There was a lot of, uh, I got suplexed over the top rope the first day I did this movie. I'd never been suplexed before in my whole life. So there's a lot of uh, heavy duty shit going on in that thing. How did you like the woman that played Lola in it? I think your, your wife... I think that was her name yeah she was a she actually took a pretty good bump in that movie she got drop kicked i think but uh i wasn't allowed to say a lot in that movie i i they want they hired me for my ability more than my acting skills but yeah she she got a black eye in that movie thank you for watching the hannibal tv Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.